mainstream and get these topics uh, covered by mainstream news because their only purpose is to distort our reality. Uh, most people know that something's wrong. They know that things are right in this country and that we're being led astray, but they turn on the news and everything seems okay. But it's thanks to you guys, thanks to InfoWars, uh, people are tuning in. They're, they're saying, hey, you know, maybe I am, I'm not crazy to think that, you know, we're in a lot of trouble and that things are, you know, going on. Well, that's why we're here. So many people, and I appreciate your call, Shane, think I'm being a pessimist or fear-mongering. It's not fear-mongering if it's happening. Drug-resistant bugs are killing millions worldwide every year now. That's a big issue to worry about. I want to try to cause a debate about it to find ways to try to mitigate it or fix it. The globalists are coming for our guns. It's by admitting they're coming for the guns that we can have a debate about it and point out that our guns make people safer and they don't have a right to blame us individually for what someone else does. It's not fear-mongering to say the big corporations want to censor the Internet because the rise of new journalism is causing a new golden age of journalism. I'm not a cynic or someone that thinks everything's doomed and we can't fix things. My detractors are usually, oh, you can't change it even if you're right. There's nothing you can do. Oh, sound like Igor the donkey from um, Winnie the Pooh. I guess... Oh. Eeyore, whatever his stupid name is. Eeyore is not Igor, it's Eeyore. Eeyore, Eeyore, I guess that's the noise they make. Igor, I'll now call him Igor. The minion of Dr. Frankenstein. More like Renfield the donkey. The vampire donkey, Igor. Not of Eeyore fame, but of Igor fame. But here's a new study out, this is in the National Post. Being a cynic linked to triple risk of developing dementia. Finland study suggests, yeah, you decide life's all over. You decide you're just depressed. That's the way it is. And, you know, I'm just going to, eh, nothing's ever going to get better. Or whatever. Your body says, well, I'm not needed. I'm just going to die. That's why in medicine they say praying helps, even if you don't believe in God. Getting your brain waves up, getting to that higher level, it's been proven that something's happening, is highly associated with healing and pulling through stuff. That's why you'll go into somebody who's, bleeding to death or whatever and about to go into surgery buck up you're gonna make it you know decide you want to live and it's been shown statistically to massively boost your chances when you get put under to survive that surgery because your brain gets in the gear of i'm needed for this family you know there's big studies out that i meant to cover last week that old people feel absolutely alone more and more in the west especially totally useless and it's because they've decided they're useless. Their families decide they're useless. They didn't have a bunch of kids, so the kids don't want to come see them or they don't have kids. And they want to be narcissistic and on power trips, and that's not what being old is about. You're supposed to be narcissistic when you're 14, not when you're 70, not when you're 80. And that's what scientists and people are saying is stop being on a power trip, stop being narcissistic, decide you're going to help people in the community, Go out to a soup kitchen and help homeless people when you're 80 years old. You're like, but I'm old. I deserve to be happy now and have time for myself. I, I, you're not happy till you go to the soup kitchen or paint or, or go visit a nursing home when you're 80 if you're not in bad shape for people that are in bad shape. T take a therapy dog in to see people. S true service is where fulfillment is, folks. If you're a journalist that tells the truth, that's a service. Doing good. We're meant to try to do good. And your body says, good job. I'm going to try to stay alive. I have worth to the tribe. I'm going to hang on. They've got studies out on old women that live past 100. They've got big extended families. People love them. They come visit them. They feel like they're needed. And those women will hold on forever. My grandmother had been sick off and on for months, my dad's mom. And uh, she knew he was coming to visit her on that Saturday when she died. And I had a feeling we needed to go see her. And then I ended up doing an overnight radio show and was up late. My dad came to the house, stood over the bed and said, hey, get up, we're going to see her. And I said, no, I'll come later, I'll come later. And I slept a few more hours. He was miles away when she died. And the preacher came and he said, it's okay, Patty, you can turn loose. 
You don't have to wait. She said, okay, and turned loose and died. She just decided to die. And that's what it's all about. But that's what this says. The world will make you pessimistic. Clean water. In California, you're on the air worldwide. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Jones. Um, yeah, so what I'm, one thing I'm noticing uh, in the media as you know, just all the time, really, and sorry for being jumbled here, is that there's a lot of focus on Obama, but not a whole lot of focus on Biden. And I see that, yeah, Obama, he takes a lot of vacations and everything, but Biden, though, Biden tends to do a lot more actual work towards advancing the new world order. And I, I just feel that more focus should be shined on him as opposed to Obama, who's really a distracting joke. Well, here's really the deal. All. Here's the deal. I don't manipulate people, but I will communicate. And if I can get conservatives and libertarians angry about the new world order by tagging Obama onto it because he is a figurehead for them, so he deserves it. You know, his face is on the billboard for the company that I hate, the globalist. So he's the figurehead on the ship of these pirates. So I will attack him by name and, and talk about him. But it's pretty clear Obama is just reading off teleprompters and mailing it in like George W. Bush did. Bill Clinton did not mail it in. John F. Kennedy did not mail it in for good or for bad. Um, George Herbert Walker Bush did not mail it in. They actually were globalists in there wheeling and dealing different factions. Nixon did not mail it in. Nixon was actually president. That's why they destroyed him. And that's on record. The establishment said that. I'm not defending the stuff he did. He was terrible. But compared to these people, he was an angel. Um, so I hear what you're saying. No, Joe Biden is more of a president than Obama and does creep around trying to get our guns and, you know, the rest of it. I mean, they use Michelle Obama. When I say Michelle Obama is telling our kids what to eat, well, she's the figurehead, the woman on there doing it. But really, it's Big Agra, the, the GMO, Monsanto, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation actually make a lot of the money off of it. Uh, they actually run what your kids are fed to a great extent. I mean, Bill Gates is a control freak for Planned Parenthood. His dad used to run it. Army intelligence. Top eugenicist. And you're going to eat what they say. Your kid's going to be sterile. You know, and if they say they're going to shove a gun down your throat and pull the trigger, you'll do it. Or they'll send the, you know, the media after you to call you racist. And you don't want, to, don't want that to happen. Uh, so, yeah, no, we're in a Twilight Zone episode. I mean, it's crazy. And so I hear what you're saying about Joe Biden. I appreciate your call. William in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Hi, Alex. Uh, I'd like to start off by thanking you for covering everything like things do. And I need to get some resistance as well. Thank you. You know, um, but what I'd like to talk about is, is there anything more we could do to wake up the people? Because most of this stuff is pretty in the obvious. I just don't understand how people could be so blind and passive. Well, see, that's how incrementalism works. Back before folks were totally asleep and before they'd been conditioned to handle this stuff in plain view, they'd go, there's no world government, there's no secret room, there's no Bilderberg, there's no plan for socialist health care, there's, no no, there's no plan to get your guns, no, no, there, there's no secret medical experiments. Now that it's all out in the open, they go, yeah, we take foster kids and do medical experiments on them, some died, big deal. Yeah, we're... Wow. Yeah, we're doing all. What's wrong with that? <laughs> See, I mean, we're now getting down the line. Yeah, we're going to get rid of Internet freedom. Yeah, we're going to take your bank account. Yeah, your kid belongs to the government. See that SWAT team? Got a problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See how that works? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just don't understand it. I mean, especially with the coverage you got over in Bel uh, Verne right now, with the, with the reporter getting drugged behind... Uh, well, maybe he needs to be drugged behind there, you know. Maybe he needs to be beaten and stomped on and chased down the other reporter. Maybe, they, I mean, we need to arrest all the media and stop complaining. Yeah. Let, let them take our bank accounts. Let them take our kids. Let them give us four shots. The people running things are good, and they mean well. And it's mentally ill to think government ever did anything wrong or the special interests are wrong, okay? I want to be mainstream now. I love Michelle Obama, and I love the school lunches, and I didn't build my business or my media empire. Okay, period. We'll be back. We're with, on the uh, march.